Okay, now let's actually hook the combo box up to the database. And uh, so let's go to the database class. And uh, what we want to do is create a class method called connect. And we're going to call the connect method at the beginning of each of our database access methods. And uh, it's basically going to check to see whether we're already connected to the database. And if we are, it's going to just reuse that connection. Otherwise, it's going to go ahead and make a new connection. So we'll say if class dot under connection equal equal none, then we need to make a new connection. And uh, um, I could, you know, look this up online, but uh, you've already had a database module. So um, to save some time, I'm just going to go to the existing version of the program from the GitHub repository, and I'm going to copy all this stuff. OK, so. Um, and I've included the server, which is cisdvss.pcc.edu on the internet, which is what we use for CIS275. And the database name is IMDB. It's one of the databases we use in CIS275. And here's the username and password for student account that's shared for 275 students. Um, so you have the same read access to IMDB from that account. Um, and then the actual connection string, I'm using pyodbc. Um, to do the database connection. So I want to import pyodbc. And uh, if you don't have this already, you need to pip install it, and you need to have the um, Microsoft build tools installed probably. And hopefully you have all of this sorted out from um, the database module. Um, but here's the connection string. Includes the server, the database, the username, and the password. Um, and this will store the connection object in under connection. And then we can use that inside of our fetch methods. So in fetch genres, so our SQL statement is going to be pretty simple. Select distinct genre. Um, I think it's genre, but it might be title genre. So here's SQL Server Management Studio, um, which is just a tool that I can use to connect to the database and execute queries. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new connection to the database. I'm going to use IMDB and, and actually databases IMDB tables um, actually I am not connected to CIS DBSS so let me switch that connection so CIS DBSS.pcc.edu I'm going to go use 275 student remember connect OK, so here's the database we're talking to. And then we want IMDB tables. And there's a title genre table that has columns, T constant genre. So if I do select distinct genre, from title genre, that should do what I need. Okay, and here I get my sorted list of distinct genres. So that's the query I'm going to use here. Select distinct genre from title genre. And then 
So the process of talking to the database is I make a statement and I execute it and I get back a result set and then I can loop through the result set. So first I want to connect and then I want to make a cursor And then cursor dot execute my SQL statement. And then I'm going to make my list of genres, which is initially empty. And let's see, genre equal cursor dot fetch one. And then while genre, genres dot append genre and genre equal cursor dot fetch one. That's not quite right, but let's uh, let's go ahead and print genre. genres. Actually, let me put a breakpoint there. So I need to, this is going to return a row and I want to pick an item out of the row. So that's probably something like genre sub zero because there's only one value coming back. And then I want to turn this into a genre object or show genre object. So show genre like so. And that's probably right. And then I'm going to return genres after that. So let's go ahead and run this under the debugger and see if we're getting the right thing. OK, so got some syntax errors. Let me look at the console for a second. Oh, that's just about the debugger, so that's okay. Um, so here we are, we have genres and list of 28 genre objects. And the first one is all genres. Second one is, yeah, so action, adult, adventure. So that's actually working. Okay, good. So I have a list of genres coming back all the way up to Western. And then if I look here, genres is correctly populated. OK, so that actually was fairly easy. So let me go ahead and do the same thing with type. And then the SQL command for this one is I'm going to get the title types out of the title basics table. And unfortunately, this is going to be kind of slow. So what I'd really want to do is cache this stuff in a local file instead of fetching it on program startup each time. Um, but uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to pull the distinct title type out of title basics. The reason that's slow is there's like 15, like, Actually, like 1.5 million records, something like that, in Title Basics. So it's pretty big. Um, but I'm going to select distinct title type from Title Basics, and then make a list of types, and then while type type. Type sub zero gets turned into a show type. Types and then get rid of that print and I'll get rid of this print as well. 
Okay, so let's try that. So it's taking a little bit longer to start up. And... Oh, uh, so I need to make this read only. So let me remember to do that. So good. This is correctly populated with the types from IMDb. And this is correctly populated with uh, genres. So let me make this read only. See, right now it's editable. I don't want that. So I'm going to go to PyGooboo here and select this combo under general. I don't think it's style. It's state. Is it state? Yeah, state is read only. And then let me do the same thing with the type combo. State is read only. And then I'm going to save and let's try running it again. Okay. And I can't edit. Good. All right, so that all seems to be good. Um, in the next bit, I'll start uh, hooking up the tree view.